Bob's checking out uh, the Hoback A8 by uh, Menevade. Not by Menevade, it's by, <laughs> by Jake Hoback. There we go, he's good. Nice. Another honorary wiener. We don't need Brian anymore. Who? Sorry, Brian. Who's that? <laughs> We've got Bob. We got fast Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to show you guys. Do you mind if I talk about this? Of course. Okay, so this is a Nix A8. You know, this is a one-off. It's just got a special spine that no one else has. Nick likes to think nobody has a spine. Uh, he acids. You mean the backspacer? Yeah. Sorry. Why did you just correct me? I don't know. You guys can hang. I have to settle up with him. With Here, him. I got it. No, 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 no. <laughs> and if you want anything else, then Denise will come in or Donna. What's the matter? He's not upset. Because he keeps rushing me. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Who's rushing you? Who's rushing? Rushing, rushing. Who's rushing you? The Johnny. Johnny. John's here? Yeah. Who's, who's rushing you? Vlad tell him to come, come on. Come on. He's like, give me your fucking book. I'm like, can you correct Tell him to come yourself? over here. We're going to straighten him out. Can you correct yourself? Tell, I have you, you tell John that we know John. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <gonna tell> <laughs> Listen, John. They know John. Does he know we're here? Let him know we're here. Actually, they just Please. had an article about Gus in the paper. Oh, did they? Yeah, what New, about? New Jersey Times. I don't know. Who's Gus? Gus is the guy that owns it here. Oh, okay. guys. What's this? What's a divvy? Come on, calculator boy. My, uh, <laughs> my uh, wallet over there. What is it, a man? I'll tell you what it is, a man. Cause that's all I got. He's thirty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I got. How much is it? I got seventeen. I think it was like seventy something plus. Nick's gonna figure it out. Whatever it is. I'm gonna well, check out. Something? I'm gonna, ch uh, I'm gonna check out us? this. You know. Yeah, but we ate a ton of shit before, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We eat well. <laughs> you have not Have you watched the videos? Nick can put them away. Really? Yes. Look, <laughs> I like when Nick's Nick You know when Nick's nine? concentrating? Yeah, week, Nick ate, okay. Nick ate nine the first you time. ate nine? Right? Is that week. still recording? Yeah, we're recording. Oh, recording. We're on. I'm not going to say anything then. I usually say. Yeah, it was uh, Gus and his brother. What's his brother's name? Billy. 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 I know Billy. This I'm leaving for you. Thank you. Not that I'm leaving. We're trying to count money. Can we give you a knife and trade? She'll take what it. What am I gonna do? Yeah, I guess I could sell it. Yeah, you will. Sell it on the internet. Look at this one, Luce. It's like jewelry. That's gorgeous. Check it out. He just got this. That's all the way from uh, Croatia. Wow. It's from uh, the maker's name is Dalibor. Really? Awesome. Really European knife maker. Gorgeous. Some pretty like nice looking knives there. We got friends with gorgeous knives. Now, we got if John comes here, he's gonna love this one. Yeah. Did you tell me him? I'm gonna tell him he's in the front. He's room. gonna lose his mind when he sees this. I'm gonna tell him he likes this stuff too, huh? Yeah, he's gonna chop somebody's head off. Knife collection? Not yet. He has come coming. Oh. He's seen our crap, but oh. this is not. This is primo stuff. Outside the wieners oh, thinking, so see that? Nuts. They're counting the money. Rob Carter. So this is what you're gonna do. Lucy, you got an ATM in the front lobby? No, here. No, stop it. You get treated too. You got an ATM in the front lobby. Oh God, I don't got an ATM, no. What do you mean? They don't have an uh, ATM in the front? You never knew that? In the front? Let me see that. We don't have shit over here. People, Come on, have, to, people have to leave the licenses or their kids and they gotta go to the ATM. What? Some guy just did that. He left his license and he came back. That's crazy. Why yeah, won't you get an ATM? That. Because you gotta give them people a percentage and these people are too cheap. Fucking Greeks, man. We fucking Greek cheaper no than the cheap. The wieners are broke. You never see this shit. The wieners are broke. They spent all their money on knives and now we're broke. <laughs> I lost a 20 somewhere. <laughs> I hope you did. I'll pick it up. Maybe that's the one I just gave Nick. <laughs> no, no, did I don't you know. Drop it? Did I don't want to buy it. Hey, do they, they sell do they sell men's shoes where you bought those? Oh, oh. 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 I didn't even see this. I gotta I gotta They look like fat lift shoes. Lift them up right there. <laughs> they gotta see this. Fat shoes. Wow. Oh. What is that? Camo? Air Max 95s, man, these are the shizzle. I smell uh, for Munza cheese. Air Max 95s. Wow. These are the British edition. Wow. They're pretty cool, huh? They're hemp. 
Yeah, they're made of hemp. Hemp? You could smoke that yeah, shit. You could smoke them. There you go. Light it up. It's like high times. <laughs> high times on my they're feet. They're pretty cool with all Roll the girls in the city, right? Smoke it. Come on, bud. <laughs> 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 I see. I like the way. So when you're walking like in the oh, woods, you're like the you're floating thing. around. It's a really nice shirt. Did they make it immense? Yeah. <laughs> they used to get me with it all the time. <laughs> Damn, man. Get me with that twice a week. <laughs> Lee's actually lost a lot of weight. He's so slimmed down. It's Look at him. You do, you do. You lost a ton of weight. I know. Congrats. Corey to Lucy, he's I gained uh, it. pretty very sexy. And you know, honestly, I don't cook for my mother anymore. Nice. Cool. Kirby Lambert. <laughs> what a deal and, and you know what? Fast Bandit is a fucking nut for Kirby Lambert. Yeah, me too. He loves it. He's a great guy. I've never had, I've found... A couple yes. dozen of his knives, never one off. Knives are full. Nothing off. Yep. Every time. Perfection. Oh, very smooth. Isn't it? Are these on bearings though, right? It's so smooth. No, I don't think so. Well, I, think, I think it is. I don't think it's... I uh, think they did vinyl washers or something. Well, I mean, I don't think it's on bearings. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, you're right, washers. Look around on the other side, you'll see. Nope, it's not bearings. How'd you see that so fast? Well, because he marks IKBS on the side. Oh! Is that all he uses, IKBS? Yeah, he does. And that one's not. This is very strange. Do you know the story behind that? Like, why do some makers use the IKBS and some don't? I don't know. Maybe they don't want to pay the IKBS guy. Maybe they don't want to catch the logo. What the coal? Korma? Cola Brothers? Hey, wait, wait, Cobola? How do you say it? Coca Cola? I don't want to call it. Coma. Icoma. 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 We're all on the same way for a page. <laughs> What's some questions you got there, Nick? What all right, let's go. What? Uh, Borka Blades. Let's check this out. Is this an early or is this? No, that's just. just got... a, I just got that a blade. How do you spell this? Do you? K N I F E. That's how you. Uh, <clears throat> Sebastian's really getting awesome with the grinds. Just phenomenal work. That's a Toxic Blades Therion. T H E R I O N. Therion. That's deep. Yeah, I don't know what the hell it means, but. Good job, Sebastian. It's awesome. Cool. What model is this one? Do you know? Uh, the SB1? SP1. SB. SB1. Yeah. I think it stands for Super Bob. Super Bob? <laughs> you sure it's that nice. Super Barry? <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Very nice. Is somebody hey, no. calling me? Huh? I'm not calling you. 917-282-6221? Why are you putting that on now? Someone's going to like, they're going to oh. call that person now. Yeah, don't call them. Please don't call whoever that is. I don't know who that is. Hello? <laughs> oh, hello. I met you at the bar last night. You <laughs> that out. Uh, Mike, I didn't realize it was you that was the smartass on the uh, camera. The oh, oh, you did? No, I didn't realize it. Look at that one. Look at that scale. It's actually me, Lee, and Brian, because Nick is, is just the engineer. The engineer. Yeah, and that, what you see him doing now is what he always does. Every time you have a guest, he always checks out the knife and he absorbs it <clears throat> for later retrieval. All right, what do we have here? Uh, I know you told me. Hatcher knives, right? Beautiful. Let me look at that's that. That's AEBL. Ah. That's blade steel, and it's a CGH. What stands for a sank gumboa handle. Wow. <clears throat> so carbon fiber and this is the... Gumboa, yeah. Wow. And again, seamless. Yep. It's really good work. Super sharp. Is it? Oh, yeah. And it's actually got... It's light. Cause it is a big blade. I'd say shave some hair off of Nick's arms, but he doesn't have any. <laughs> it's light, but uh, it's got good balance. There you go. Get Don't cut yourself. Damn. Man. You got yourself. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I was trying to keep that knife oh clean. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's like gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Don't oh, look at that. Because it's going to go into my Coke. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of hair. Yeah. It is I shaving. Wow. Sharp. Very yeah. sharp. Shaving sharp. Feels good. Good balance. Where's the horse neck? Horse. Okay, well now we're on fixed blades for a little bit. Boom. Dang! Oh, stop a bullet, baby. Oh my god. 
Chaz Bandit's uh, war horse shape. Oh my god. <laughs> That's Lee. That's Lee on the love lines. <laughs> I love this. Hey, he's talking about his shoes. Wow. I think it's some girl calling to see if she could buy them from him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. It's gonna be a wet night. He's such a play. He can't even can't even control himself. He drops the wieners like a bad habit. Is he leaving his knives here? Yes. Let's take him. So this is Alpha Hunter. Alpha Hunter. Yep. Is this his or? Yes, yeah, okay. his warhorse. Wow. Yeah. So I had um Liz last year. Oh well, yeah, he wasn't a blade and this that, year. That, no. That, like, oh, you're right. You're right. Remember? Yeah. This was that blade this year. I had it. I had it on his table the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is a beast. Doesn't that feel good though in your hand? It is. It's a monster. Yeah. Jeez, got some good weight to it. That's another question though. That on the topic that they suggested, uh, thicker blades versus thinner blades. Go thick. Uh, I think I just think of, I, I do read the comments. So when I hold the knife that kind of fits it, I kind of like just go with it. You're a genius. I'm trying. <laughs> Wiley Coyote. Ooh. I like the blood group. What's up, Nick? Go ahead. Nick, so say something. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> just reading the uh, the question: pros and cons of blade thickness and grinds. <sighs> that's your. That's your. That's really engineer. You're the engineer, so. This is just meant to hack Chop. This is right. for zombies. That's to take yeah. off an arm, a limb, yeah, exactly. a tree. Stop yeah. a bullet. You can still shoot. Stop a bullet. <laughs> flip what, a what's pancake. Her name? What's her name? Lucy? No, no, no. You know, Donna? The, the woman, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. bracelets. Oh, yeah. Pshow. <laughs> 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 nah, that's a, that's a monster. That's definitely something you Actually, use in the bush. I'm kayaking with that, too. That's <laughs> a paddle. It is a it's paddle. A paddle yeah. Ping pong paddle. Here, All right, another fixed blade. Last one. Oh, okay, sure, oh. sure. What's that sound? <laughs> Lm number sixty-four. Who makes this? Marshall. Lm Lloyd Marshall. Marshall. Yep. What is it? Lm Marshall? Is it Lm Marshall? Yep. What's your name? Lm Lmk nine. Sir. Right, uh, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Lloyd Marshall. Nice guy. Very nice guy. My yeah, car I've, been I've been following him for like three years now. Yeah, so sharp. Very, very sharp. You want to cut some more hair? Um, your other arm. You got to match your other arm. <laughs> look at that bald spot. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Gone. Yeah, you are. Look at that. Not quite as sharp as the other one, is it? I've used that one out quite a bit. No, I'm not. Why don't you just go the other way? No. Against, Against the grain? <laughs> That'll screw me all up. No, not as... It's, that's taking it off, but... Uh, not as... Uh, not as uh, good as the other one. Yeah, it's a hatcher. The hatcher. Nope. No. The hatcher took it off. Who stuck at me? It's gotta be Brian. Nope. Nope. Oh, Quebec party. This is yours? This is a beater. This is the this uh is Jake's beater. Oh, oh. speaking of beaters. Spine whack beater. Speaking of beaters. So we had a gentleman. I think it was a gentleman. Uh, this is one of his original ones, or this is one he just recently made. He had it around the shop for a long time. It's very light. It has the milled scales and everything. Here's a question: Why are we spending a fortune on grill? Oh, perfect. On what? On grail knives. Why uh -huh. spend a fortune on grail knives? Why not? There we go. Answer. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I'll answer that. I'm sure Bob will agree. Because because these things hold their value. You buy this thing, it'll, 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 eventually, it'll appreciate instead of appreciate. You buy something like a production knife, after you use it, that's done. You can't sell that back for anymore. So I think some people like to, to collect their knives and then... Yeah, but the, the fit and finish. Oh, absolutely. All these knives is, there's no comparison between the production knife. That's another thing they covered in Knife Thursday as you're talking about custom knives. And Chris put, brought up a good point. Did you listen to the podcast? Yeah. He brought up a good point about custom knife because, mm -hmm. and I, I realized that I'm looking at Bob's collection here, a lot of these knives have some 
that not only are they handmade, which brings up the value, they're also customized to Bob specs, whatever he wants. Like this particular, this uh, you know over here has some, he's back, has some particular customizations. <laughs> Are you right there, lover boy? I'm sorry, guys. I haven't talked to him in a long time. Him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Boy Jackson. I'll Let's try to judge. cut that out. Let's not judge. <laughs> <laughs> we all like Lee. I do it silently through pictures, sir. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lee. So here's where we're at. Read him the question. Uh, why do we spend a fortune on Grail? I don't. <laughs> Next question. Next question. I, I, the answer. I, I spend. I spend the amount of money it takes me to get what I want. There you go. That's me too. So. You know. And if you don't have the money, then save. Yeah, it's not just knives. It could be anything. I yeah. spent ridiculous. I just bought a pair of Jordans for four hundred bucks. It's just it is what. Those it is. weren't four hundred dollars. I hope. These no. These oh, were okay. like one hundred forty or something. They paid you to take them. Camo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do like them. I do. I, <laughs> I, I like them, Lee. My, well, what, what, what? my ex girlfriend used to call them my Duck Dynasty sneakers. Well, what is your grail knife, Bob, since you're here and you're a, you're a pretty big time collector? Ooh, I don't think I have a grail knife. You don't? <clears throat> you mean one that I just absolutely. I'll tell you what I, I, what I went through with collecting is you start out. I'll tell you what, knives. right now. Is this is a grail knife for me. Yeah, I think it's everybody, you know, I think they all have different purposes. Yeah. The Hoback, the, his uh, sure. the grail knife. Sure, absolutely. Um, well, what is the... The Dalibor Bergman, the absolutely. Ramon Chavez. What absolutely. Is the, what is the question? Daryl Ralph. What, or how do they base in what a grail is? How it's hard it is whatever, to get or how expensive it is? I don't think, what, uh, no, I, to me a grail is what you like. What is your, one of your favorite knives? What are you trying to get? What do you, what do you want? And it's kind of difficult to get, I would think. That's why it, it makes it, it a girl. It seems like the question is more geared towards pricing. You know, yeah, why the spend, question, the the why question spend money? Is, but I think that's misguided. Yeah. I mean, come on, a lot of people, this is a grail knife, but this this is only uh, $475. Wow. Yeah. That's a great knife. That's a great price. Was, yeah, that's yeah. an <laughs> awesome price. I'm going to call him tomorrow. What is somebody's work? <laughs> yeah, you know. What is somebody's work worth to you? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hell, I've had a uh, speeding ticket. I paid a lawyer seven hours worth of work for 150 bucks an hour. You know, it's, yes. you know, what is it worth to you? So that was a grill defense? That was a grill defense. defense. He got me off on a cracked windshield. <laughs> I was <laughs> doing fast. He <laughs> collected me at 149 and a 65. Oh, that, so, that was um, worth it. Was worth every, it was worth the 140, dollar. 150, whatever you paid. I was a young kid and I was stupid, but we don't like this it was worth it. This is one of my favorites because of the accent. This is a regulus. That one was a grill for me because I can't get one. That's it. A list for it, but right. It's, you know, it's a it's a wait for him. So it's a custom. It's a. I would imagine. So it would a grill. To get. So would a grill knife be only custom? No. 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 Could so I think it'd be. So something you desire that's kind of difficult to get. Do you really think it is? It, uh, does it have anything to do with difficult to get? I think it's just something that you really desire and you want. That you work hard towards and everything else. That's what I. That's why. I asked that's what I money, think is you know? grail. I think I don't think it's the amount of money. I think it's something you. Well, it could be because could money's be. all relative, right? Yeah. Well, for for some for people, different the money's impossible to get, and if yeah. that's what grail. No, it's is, always possible to get. Yeah. It's impossible to get at what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. It's always possible to get. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I I think as a collector, you go through. You know, first you start out getting every, collecting every single knife there is, and then you whittle it down to what you really like. I've got to like the maker. Right. Uh, to collect oh, the knife, I have yeah. to like the maker. I totally agree. If I yeah. don't, I get rid of the knife. Very, very. I'm good. the same way. Yep. I'm the same um, way. Yeah, there's certain knives I won't even look at. Yeah, like me them. too. And they're beautiful. Yeah, exactly. and they're amazing. I, I really enjoy the but knife. I wish I could like it more. <laughs> I, actually, I actually sold this knife and then bought it back. Yeah, the same knife? Yeah. Yeah, because it's a prototype, but also because I just missed it, man. It was just so unusual. Look at that. It's just, <laughs> no, that's you cool. Know? And Jay's a really cool guy. He's one of the nicest guys you'd ever meet. Is yeah. he uh, on Instagram or? He is. He's on Jay Gale. Um, and he's uh, one of Jeremy Marsh's buddies. Okay. So, really nice guy. Really funny. Yeah, they're all friends. Look at that. Carbon fiber is beautiful. The clip is fantastic. And it feels good in the hand. It really is good. I'm not a Warren Cliff fan or a Sheepfoot 
That's a what is that, Nick? Come on, you're the engineer. What do you call that blade? Sheep's foot. A modified sheep's foot. Modified sheep's foot. <laughs> per Nick. No, they, they, uh, look up they, in Cummings called us something, remember? Um, Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Warren, sheep's Warren Cliff. I don't know what you called it, but it was kind of funny what you said. Cliff? Sheep Cliff. Sheep Cliff. Yeah. Cliff. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that before. But hey, for a lot of people, uh, I'm still looking for one of these. This is a grill. It's one of the best knives ever made. Right? Yeah, I love Sabenza. Or ever made Sabenza. Mm. So that's somebody's grill. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think that, I mean, I, I'm trying to find one. To get in my collection. So it's, is it difficult to find? Um, no, the that's way the I want it. Died one. The way I want it is difficult to find. Okay. I'm looking for the uh, etched American twine. Well, that, that leads uh, us uh, to our uh, other question is... Uh, commentator here, sir. Uh, is there a budget for pimping knives? Depends on what you're pimping it with. You like, is there, is there a limit that some people just, you know, won't pay or... To have a knife pimped? I guess. I mean, the guy, the guy said a knife pimped on a budget? Question mark. So it's right. Like, I'm guessing he wants some spinning off on that. I think what he want, what I what I thought I interpreted the question was he wanted to get like a a pimp job at a budget and what's well, a good budget? I guess you know. I, what I the hell was that? I never look at any venture on how I can get it done the cheapest. No. I look at quality of work. Yep. So price is the last for me. You know, if I know two people who are exceptional in quality, then I'll look at price who's got the best sure. deal. But when it goes to first initially looking for it, I never look at price. I, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Lee. yeah. You know, Lee's much smarter than you said he was, Mike. No, every, <laughs> everyone knows Everyone knows that Lee is the brains of the operation. He really is. And yeah. Nick is the brains of the operation. Me and Brian are just like comic relief. I'm just witty in our texts. I love you, Brian. Always making me laugh before. <laughs> All right, here's what Jake McCoy14 just sent. Me. I love that kid. That's my nugget. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he shared it. Oh, God. He shared it. <laughs> <laughs> crazy kid. That's great. Aw, oh, kids. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jake. We met him at the show. Well, yeah. he's a big Weed is a Steel fan, so he's awesome. Oh, um, his parents. Oh, are oh, amazing. They're yeah. great people. You know, nice. Oh, okay. He sent it to me, too. Okay. Did he send it to you, too? <laughs> yeah, I just got it. So we were bored today, so we were the wieners were taking selfies of each other, and uh, we posted it direct to each other, and we we, we tagged a few of our friends. Um, yeah, I got that tag. Oh no, I didn't. That's right. No, sorry, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you are now. You're yeah, gonna be. Yeah. You will be yeah, tagged I'm from now on. I'm in the club on. now, right? You're in the wieners club. I, I made I, the eight-hour drive. I feel bad. I only tagged these guys, and everybody else was tagging everybody else. <laughs> I just put in the wiener. <laughs> what's right. the next question? Yeah, what's did we the we didn't even answer that, did we? No, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Pimp on a budget. Nick answered yeah. it and Bob answered it very uh, eloquently. I thought. <laughs> I myself would go with the cheapest one because I'm a cheap bastard. Uh, this is this is this is an easy one. Sabenza versus Strider versus XM18. You think that's easy? Sabenza. I think it's, it's like I think it's whatever question. you like. Yeah. I I agree. Because I, I can see that was a Justin. A that was Justin Laffer's question. Yeah. So Sabenza versus Strider versus for me Sabenza. Sabenza versus Strider versus for me it's XM18. For me XM18. 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 That's a I, tough one. I don't even see them as comparable knives. Well, well, I think it's each person's taste. I, I agree. Yeah, I think it's the taste. They're all because even a Strider knives, too. Yeah, you know, like yeah. Flippers versus a regular. I think you can't go wrong with any of those. I like all of them. Yeah. I like all of them. I was going to say, I like all of them. I think I have a knife from every one of them. I think they're all surprising in their own ways. I think a Sabenz is a much tougher knife than people give it credit for. Mm -hmm. I think a, so, is the, so is the XM. You know what I, no, you know what I think? I, but I think that like an XM is a more refined knife than people give it credit for, like the smoothness of it. Yeah. You know, I think what hurts a Sabenza, it. it doesn't look mm -hmm. like it would be comfortable in the hand. Yeah, no. It looks too plain. But this is, man, this is, it's in your hand. It doesn't look as, as stout as it is no. as well. I mean, yeah, it doesn't. The, they're just tough knives. Yeah. That one I drove through. But you just said PCR. stout and tough knives. Now I'm totally confused. Oh. <laughs> I'm <laughs> nauseous. <laughs> but, uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you, I do like the Strider. I do like the Strider. As far as Nick is just <laughs> Lee's losing his mind. What's the matter? Why are you turning right. around? What's anyway. Um, all right, next question. <laughs> Nick, let's get off that subject. Uh... 
Uh, but I do like the Striders. They, I think the Striders look awesome. Wicked like Edge or Grind? I think the Strider is more refined than people the other kind. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a cool knife. I when, think it's a when, cool when looking knife. Done well. Yeah, there's, there's some of them that are. Re- yeah, exactly. The custom. I think. Some well, you guys tell me if you agree or disagree, but out of those three knives, I think the Strider looks the coolest. Yeah. yeah? Uh, Would you say that? I mean, again, it's all a matter of taste, but to yeah, me. Yeah, I think I agree. Yeah. It depends which ones. The customs are really. Yo, cool. forget about it. Forget about it. I'm just talking about the regular ones. You know? The know. customs are sick. I'm more of a gentleman folder in that regard, but yeah, they're nice looking knives. Okay, Nicholas.